hello once again welcome to my channel thank you for watching the first part of this series on how to use um, mt4 on your android phone and just in case you have not watched the part one and two you can go uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll find um, the, the part one and the part two now so this is completely part part three on how to use um, mt4 on an android device um, the reason I'm making the videos in parts so that you will not be voluminous so that you can be able to watch each of them in depth so today I want to focus on um, the items on the, the blue circle when you tap if you tap your screen your, your, your Android for you tap your screen you will see a blue circle like this now, um, this this all this this means one um, one minute this means uh, five minutes time frame, fifteen minutes time frame, thirty minutes time frame, one hour time frame, five hours time frame, um, daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame. This for the functions or indicators. This is uh, the cross air, and this is um, various uh, uh, symbols. Uh, various symbols you can you can find here. So basically. Uh, that is that this for this now let's tap let's tap this the symbol this part let's tap it and see what's there so you see you have all this there you see objects uh, that's the objects so uh, let's let's explore what's in the objects here we click on this um, plus sign to explore what's on the object side click on the plus sign then you see all kinds of objects you see all kinds of objects uh, vertical lines horizontal line train line thread by angles uh, cycle line arrow line equidistance and all that and all that and all that and so on mostly what is used is the trend line horizontal line the vertical line mostly if you want to uh, get uh, put your your chart in different sections the arrow to show the uh, if you are trying to analyze your chart, you can use the arrow for that. Uh, all these are for analysis, the analysis tools and all that. So let's if you scroll up, you see the uh, fib fib retracement, fib, uh, fibonacci theory retracement. You see fibonacci time zones, fibonacci fan, and all that. So also you have Elliott wave, uh, Elliott motive wave, Elliott corrective wave. The rectangle, the rectangle and triangle eclipse now all these beautiful objects are, are good for analyzing the uh, forest market you can use any of these tools to uh, edit uh, to analyze the forest markets so let's go back and let me show you something else now mt4 mt4 let's click on the menu again to see something from the menu here click on the menu as to find out something and let's go to settings go to settings here settings click on settings uh, now look at this and this in this setting section is where you you can you can uh, um, set how your candle and uh, stick color should look like um so let's start with charts let's start with charts so let's start with charts here let's start with charts if you click on that if you click on that you see there are bar charts uh bar charts you can see candlestick now um line chart let, let, let me i'll click on each so that you see now we are let's i click on bar chart then go back to the chart here look at the chart here here and you see how the look at how the chart looks like now see yes this, this is the bar chart this is the bar chart let's go back to the menu setting then let's click on the chart let's change it to candlestick then let's click on the chart so look at this what you have this is what you have now let's do the same thing and let's check uh, click on setting 
let's say I got line chart line chart now most traders most most traders uh, I, I me to I myself I use mo most of the line chart line chart and um, and um, the candlestick chart now the line chart it will help you it's very it's really good if you want to really uh see clearly if you're having confusion about this direction of the market you can use a a line chart to know the direction the trend of the market you can use a line chart to know also it's very good for you to know the range uh, it depends on your kind of strategy the range look at for example from here now you see this 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 is this this is it has been it has been bearish it has been bearish trend all this way so it gives you an idea of uh, how clearly the, to show the trend it is and all that so that's that's just uh, a bit about uh, ch uh charts let's conduct what can do now the next the next on that line um the line the line types under it the next thing you find is o h l c now open o h l c means open high low close prices on charts now if you if you untick this box if you undo this box untick this box now the open high and low uh prices on the chart or the last candle will not show when you place a cross upon uh up on the on the candle it will not show so let's untick it let's see how it is now if you place a cross here on this you can see the price let's see what happens if we untick it now? Let's see. So there's no, there's, I don't think there's any uh, special effect on it. So let's remit, let's leave it tick now. The next one is data win uh, data window data window look at this data window now this it, this one it is it displays it displays a pop-up window near the crosshair this window shows indicators value on the speculative bar let's let's tick it let's see what it will be like on the charts let's tick it let's go to the charts so let's go across here uh, uh, let's go across here let's go across here so you see you can see the volume when you take that you will see the you see the volume you see the volume so that's the function of that particular crosshair then the next uh the next one and the both will display show trade uh show trade levels this very important this this particular show trade level is very important if you untick if you untick this if you enter a trade you will not if you if you if you if you don't take it if you enter a trade you will not see the stop loss you will not see the tp on your chart so this must remain ticked then now uh, the next one we have uh independent charts this now it's good the, uh, independent charts graphical objects are created on all sort and also on all sort so, um, symbols chart and all frames if you if you click on this if you click on this the graphical object you create we appear on all time frames uh let's see if you click let's click on it i could only on current symbols and chart and selected time frame if you untick it it will appear on all so what this means is that if you if you if you click on this the, the, you, you might you might uh draw you might draw let me just say you draw something like this if you draw uh, let me use an object let me draw something let me use a rectangle if you draw like something like this now if if you tick if you tick that box this particular box you drew will only be on this time frame if you go to the next time frame you might see look at look at it's it's not aligning it's awkward uh, 
้ให้สิบแบบก็โคดมาไลน์นี่ก็ let's let's go back settings let's untick that so it's better so again it's better for the for to you to For the graphical objects are located on all symbols charts and all time frames, it is better to remain to leave this particular independent chart unticked. Because if I lo I, if I log out from the app, if I log if if I tick if I tick the box, if I tick this box now, if I tick this box and I log out, if I try to if I log out and I log in again, those objects will not be there. The object I put will not be there. So it's always good to leave it unticked. Now, this other one, the next one, show period separators. Show period separators. This, show period separators. If you take it now, you will see lines on your chart. Let's see. Can you see that? This, this lines. So, that is what that particular. Listen. Uh, so it better it remains on ticked. Now. The next one, the B price, the action, the ax price line. Now, if you untick that, if you untick that, now look at the chart at the moment. Look at all oh, this, this particular thing, this yellow and red. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you untick one, one of them now, let's see whether it's the blue. It, it will not see it again there. Let's see, untick it and check. Okay, the the red. You can't see the red. That's the ax price. No longer there. You only see the blue, so it's better you leave that um, on. Now this is a beautiful part. Color, color. Now, you know, if if you just if you just downloaded your MT4 for the first time, for most uh, time most uh, brokers, the chart comes in white and black color. But here now uh, on this color segment. You can change the color to anything you want. Have you not seen? Have you seen some some people use white and blue, uh, different color patterns? Yeah, it's left for you, as long as you understand uh, the bullish and the bearish of the candles. That's all, all good and fine. So let's click on colors. Now you see, here, here, you can you can change the color. You can change the color of the background. You can customize. You can customize um, your scheme. You can do many things. You can change the color of the foreground. You can change the color of the foreground. Now, this is if you want to change. Um, this is where if you want to change the color of your candle. This is where you change it. The bar down, bar down represents bearish. Bar up uh, represents bullish. A bullish candle. You can change the color here. There's a bullish candle. This you can change the, this is a bearish candle. The chart line. You can change the color of the chart line. The bid price that like we saw earlier is blue. You can change it to black or any color you want. The ask price like we see when we when we um, untick the ask price line it disappeared. When we when we take it, it showed. So the stop levels, the color is red. You can change the color to anything. So here you can change the color to anything that you want. Let me just do on the bullish. Let's change this. Let's change the bullish the bullish candle to white, to white here. Then change the bearish candle to black. Then let's click on done. Then check the charts. Uh, can you see that? Now, why is it why is it having a mixture of green and red? Now that that brings me back to now sorry setting setting custom. Now, like like I was telling you, 
you must also change the bar up and bar down so since you're using white and black bar up change it to white bar down to oh, sorry bar down to black and click on done go back to the chart now voila white white and black white and black so if you can't see the white it's more of the black so uh, so basically that is how you can change the color you can change any color you like any color you like I mean, let's you can change any color you like of your choice any color okay so I've, I've, I've turned the borders the bar up i turn it to black so that you can see it so it's visible now you can see white, white and black so you can change the color to anything you like that is how color schemes are done on mt4 basically this these other parts are the messaging parts uh from the broker the, the, it's automated and all that the news also is from the broker the, the table interface you can either en enable let's click on this this interface here enable let's tab tab tablet interface let's click on it let's see how okay this is how tablet interface looks like so let's undo it uh -oh. so. so that's how the tablet interface looks like so basically that is how this these things work. Go back to setting and do this. So back to our half from our way. So guys, I don't want this video to be too long. Oh sorry, seventeen minutes. So guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you have not got um to have access to the other um part one and two and to similar content, click on the subscribe button the like button description button so that you get more videos like this cheers bye for now